What is Norm Abram doing? News of the Daytime Emmy Award winning show, The New Yankee Workshop ending its run in 2009 after 21 seasons, shocked loyal fans of Norm Abram, as it had become part of their journey in learning about woodworking. People who had been following him for so long felt a sense of loss, as he was the go-to guy for everything one needed to know about the craft. The producers decided not to find a replacement for Norm, as the show was identified with the much-loved carpenter, and a new person would likely fail in comparison with him. So today we are going to know where is Norm Abram now. Norm Abram is an American master carpenter, who made a name for himself through his work in the PBS reality show This Old House, and its spin-off The New Yankee Workshop. He was born in Winsicott, Rhode Island in 1949, and grew up in Milford, Massachusetts. What made Norm Abram famous? Before Home and Garden Television, HGTV came into the picture, and before people became obsessed with do-it-yourself, DE projects, there was this old house and Norm Abram with his tools. That changed the landscape of television and introduced this new genre. What happened to Norm Abram? People thought he went into retirement when the new Yankee workshop stopped airing after 21 years. Another rumor that circulated online was that he was either diagnosed with cancer or he died from the disease. However, none of this was true, as Norm continued to do what he does best in this old house. Doing this show was much less work for him, as he wasn't at the job site every day, as it depended on the project and his schedule as stated in his contract. Although he loved the spin-off, it was time-consuming as he did the actual work himself. Norm had to give up his own business back then, because he knew that doing two TV shows and running a contracting company, but still have a life wasn't going to work. After doing it for so long and undertaking 235 projects, he felt that it was time for him to focus more on his family, as they too had sacrificed a lot because of the demands of his job. How is the love life of Norm Abram? He was divorced from his first wife, Laura Cohn, in 1996. He had a daughter with her named Lindsay. From the many talks or interviews he's given, he would often mention his daughter and his wife. He remarried in September 1999 to Ellis Hornstein, who's a potter. The couple traveled together, and Ellis almost always accompanied him when attending trade shows. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel Superstar Culture. So, what is Norm Abram doing? His fans would have an idea of what's keeping him busy these days, had they watched his 2008 interview. When he was asked what would be next for him should he stop doing his series, he said he's always going to be doing something that involved woodworking. As much as he would like to do what he really wanted on the show, they only took on projects at a certain level. He personally designed some pieces, but he didn't have the freedom to experiment and try things that would probably not make great TV. He and his wife bought an old house near the ocean, and they had so many plans such as building their dream workshop slash pottery studio and a Heshoff sloop. Although once in his show he did build a small wooden sailboat called a Clancy, he wanted to attend a boat building school first to acquire more skills before tackling his next sailboat. He was also interested in building an energy efficient house. When it comes to furniture, he wanted to make something very functional, and it would have to be an adaptation of period furniture, as he was not much of a fan of contemporary items. He said that he might not be able to create a Norm Abram signature style, but he's looking forward to playing around and seeing what he could come up with. Norm is someone who loved carpentry so much so that he's concerned about the future of the trade, as the lack of skilled laborers became evident as they filmed this old house through the years. While they never had problems before in finding well-trained carpenters, electricians, or plumbers, they noticed as the years went by that fewer people were learning the trade. It was said that there were lots of empty jobs in the construction industry, with not enough people to fill in. He talked about this at the 2019 Offs Fairwed Wood Education in Las Vegas. He didn't want to go into how it became a problem, but he wanted to figure out what the best course of action should be to solve this. Basically, he said that they needed to mentor the craftsmen of the future. He was encouraging the people in the industry to be part of that and helped young people to become part of the construction business and learn a trade. He said that although it's hard to be a contractor and train people at the same time, it was something that they must do. They'd already approached a foundation a few years back that would award scholarships to people with potential and held fundraising projects. On the show This Old House they started recruiting apprentices for every trade. Skilled laborers are not going to be obsolete, despite the technology or machinery that's producing prefabricated houses. Because homeowners would still need people with the right skills in doing renovations, maintenance, repairs, and such. He had become the face of the industry, and he's using it to raise awareness for a worthy cause. We have come to the end of the video, if you like our content then don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And subscribe to our channel because you know we are your number one place for the latest interesting facts and celebrity news.